we recognise some of the stuff in this room. Yeah. <laughs> ah, the little bit of stuff. Yeah. That building in the corner is the um, European Space Innovation Centre, so it's an incubator. So it's quite an active place that the Dutch uh, you know, uh, government has realised that there's a lot of knowledge there in ST, yeah. so they want, to, they want that knowledge to be somehow uh -huh. useful to uh -huh. the harvest of exactly for the rest of the community. Yeah. So that's why they have this sort of Very interface zone. Yeah. Uh -huh. And this, this uh, paddock over here will eventually become uh, STEC 2. That's the location and uh, the project, quite level space. I can give you yeah, a can, can you give us an update? Yeah, yeah sure. Wow. You guys Ah, okay. You guys are a partner of White Label Space, officially visiting us here at our White Label Space headquarters. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Um, we, we, we use this room for regular meetings for White Label Space. So in fact today at 5 o'clock we're going to have a meeting. And uh, more or less here in Holland we have the engineering team. So the people responsible for design and development of the lander for our mission. That's the mock-up of the lander, which you're all probably familiar with. From, uh, yeah our joint project earlier in the year when you were very helpful to us. So, I mean, the, the, as you probably know, the, it's a mock-up, so it's, it's not meant to be uh, representative in terms of strength or weight or anything like that of the, of the moon lander, but it's, it's representative in terms of size and shape and uh, equipment. So today you see the equipment mounted on the outside is all just static, it's just mock-up wooden pieces. Um, but the, the aim is that we can, uh, over time, add uh, functional elements to that like that. So this, this is a platform which we can build upon to demonstrate the surface mission the GLXP. So that's important because, it's, I mean, the surface mission is maybe not the hardest thing of the, of the overall project, but it certainly hasn't been done before. So there's certainly some elements of risk in there. How does the rover egress on the lander? How does the, um, what, are, what are the camera angles and fields of view that you need to get a good, uh, coverage of the rover's mission as it does some activities close to the lander and then we can test the communications link from, from rover to lander and then lander acting as a relay. Uh, all of these things we'd like to check. Um, so there will also be some customer payloads on the mission. We allocate 10 kilograms for the rover, which is the GLXP mission, and 10 kilograms customer payloads. Uh, the Japanese uh, team has made some good progress with the rover. Um, so next year they're going to build a second prototype. So they've got one prototype now which is full, full scale and most of the functionality of the GLXP rover. They're going to build another one which is quite similar to that one which will be used for publicity. And they're going to do a tour around Japan to famous sites and they'll do, demonstrate the rover in different sites. They did the first one just uh, last weekend. Actually, uh, we'd like very much to, to be in the North Africa yes. event. And I think that's for us is a key milestone yeah. because if we can do it uh, with the sort of place you talk about, we need to go 500 meters one kilometer. Mm -hmm. We want to demonstrate the, the link there between the rover and lander, and that hardware should be ready by then. And um, so we'd like to use that as the main field demonstration for the complete GLXP mission. That fits our timeline very well. Um, and if we could do it with a remote control center, preferably with a yeah. uh, time delay equivalent yeah. to lunar uh, yeah. well, distance, it would, be, it would be perfect for our. Uh, for our work and uh, maybe but since it looks like you're not going to be doing any field tests next year which would use our lander mock-up we might send that across to uh, Tokyo because they're actually going to set up a new little office in an incubator not unlike this oh. one they're going to have like a white label space Japan uh, corporate office somewhere in Tokyo so we could maybe leave then lend them the lander mock-up because we're in fact working on another lander which is this one over here I wanted to show you this is um, this is going to become the structural model of the lander. So it's actually trying to look at some of the questions of uh, strength and the weight. This is a carbon fiber panel provided by Airborne. Wow. Carbon. <laughs> yeah. And what we want to do is take this carbon fiber lander and subject it to tests. So we, we test it as if it was a real spacecraft structure and show vibration test, acoustic test, shock test, landing your leg crushing test. Ah, and each time we did it, we sort of published the results of videos to show that we know how to test the spacecraft structure 